Hello, hello. If you are in the background, I appreciate a hello. <clears throat> I've been working a lot on my channel lately, and YouTube responds if people comment. So all you have to do is say howdy doody. If you don't know how to spell that, just say yo. Okay. The more people I have chatting and sharing. And if you like my videos and you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell. Click the bell and the menu check all. And then you'll get a notification text message from uh, YouTube that I'm, I have just hit the like button, which I seem to be challenged these days. But anyway, um, poppers. I haven't done these in a while, so I thought maybe it would be a good thing to do since, hello, hello, Dr. Victoria with Field Notes series is coming up. So she needs some good things. I need some good things to put in my version of her Field Notes journal. So these are made with just little scraps, glue, glued together. And if I can, I can't. Don't even try. If you're working on a journal page and you just get to a point where you're ready to be done, go through your popper stack and you'll find some things that you can just glue this on your page and it's the pop that just makes that page sing. Then there are labels. And we all like to leave little label pockets and tags and stuff like that. So these are... Tags I've been saving. I um, joined Stitch Fix because my friend Shannon Green did. I'm going to turn this light off. That may be better. Let me know if that's better. I think it's a little bit better. Um, and she had a coupon for $50 off. I had one a month or two ago for a hundred dollars off for a new sign up. <clears throat> it was a code that if you follow that code, you get a hundred dollars off your first order. And mine, I'm on a medium to low cost range. Um, and my, <clears throat> if I keep everything in the box, which I have so far, um, I got a hundred dollars, a uh, hundred dollars off. Shit. Let me see. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me start over. My box cost, if I keep everything, is around $200. Um, so, $100 off of that, you'll get four tops, a pair of jeans, and maybe even a pair of shoes. It, you know, it alters depending on what you say you want. I've had three of them so far because I desperately needed some, um, especially tops that were more presentable than a, t-shirt with paint on it and everything they have sent has been my style and fit perfectly i mean if i go into a store or used to when i shopped i have to go through four stores and wear myself out trying on jeans to get a pair that fits they have sent me three pairs of pants and each box i mean one in each box and they have fit perfectly so um <clears throat> you can tell them how often you want one or just tell them <coughs> when you do want one. I don't know why I cough when I get on with you guys. I guess I'm allergic. So, anyway, I've got on one of them today. It's a real soft, lightweight hoodie, and it just feels great. So, what else do I have up? I have... A corner rounder. I have a hole saver, hole protector punch. I have some Claudia Hellman paint that I'm trying to use up. I've got my uh, Patty Pocket Stains, S T A I N Z, and I'll put a link for everything in the description. And I've got a couple of Seth After dye sprays that are really nice and 
I have. Let me see what the comments are. See who's here. Hey, Nancy. Good. Did y'all hear me say that <clears throat> Dr. Victoria is about ready to make her encore performance? Now, I also have boxes of little scraps and pieces. And I really need to go through this <clears throat> and get rid of some that are less attractive than others. And I have them labeled small scraps. And then I have another one labeled insert materials. So I've got tags and, you know, store-bought tags and then pieces of cardboard. This was with fingernail marbling. Stunk? Lordy, it stunk to high heaven. So I've got that. Let's see. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Put Claudia in the middle. I think she'll sit. And then just put small scraps right there. Alrighty. Um, on my collapsible cart, you know, like a TV tray type cart, I've got, <clears throat> I'm trying to do a little bit of studio organization every day. So in this one, I've got tags that I've made. Some are two-sided, some are pockets already, so these can be used quite easily. And I've got another one. Spoil. Uh, another one with the poppers that I've already made. So I'm going to put these two back in their bucket. See how organized I am? I got these little zipper bags um, from Dollar Tree. And I ordered direct off the website. And I got, um, there's 48 in a case. No, no, no. 28 in a box. 24 in a box would be a nice round dozen. And then the one with the webbing is an Amazon bag, and I'll put the link for that. These are a little sturdier, and they have a zipper instead of a pull tab. <clears throat> and when I get one out of the box, the first thing I do is put a little staple right here because this thing just flies off the top, and then you can't get it back on. So minor inconvenience for a buck. So, I've got scraps in here, too. These were scraps that were just on my desk. So, let's see. Let's see. This is intuitive. And I've been anything gold. I'm like a crow. Aren't they the ones that collect bright, shiny things? I collect stuff like this, too. This came... I think it was a piece of junk mail. It's a plastic seal. But hey, it looks good. I've got a bunch of little stamps. Oh, I forgot to mention these. Um, I did Robin McClendon's index card or Rolodex cards. These are all two sided, they're perfect for tags. Because Rolodex just takes up, it's a piece. Rolodex is a piece of art, three-dimensional art. Russell, Russell. There's a piece of paper that might be good. These are the little bits that you sweep up off the floor. A little scrap of something Asian. Okay, so I'm going to put, what did I say? Let's do poppers first. I'm in the mood to pop. Pop, pop, pop. These little buckets, I love. They've got a small handle. And you can put a label on it. They stack. The lids stack under. I'm going to put that right up here. Oh, and I've got my 
jelly plate. Remember the one that curled so bad? I just treated it with baby oil and it's a little bit better. So I've got it sitting under this. Those are the rest of my noon pills I have to take. All right, so what do we got in here? A little bit of everything. So, I said I was going to put this up here. Out of the way, but accessible. Just to light a little bit. There's a little bit of a shadow, but pretend you're not seeing it. Hello, everybody. <laughs> well, all you have to do is put a staple on the end of it. Yes, I have always needed a zipper on my mouth. And I figured that once I got old, it wouldn't be so, you know, they'd just say, oh, she's just no lady. Leave her alone. I'm 71 now, so I guess I can do it and not worry about it. I'm just going to tear a piece. Y'all know that the direction you tear either gives you a white spot, a white edge, or a not white edge. You can't tell. You can tell it here. No white edge. So there's that little popper. Let's just see where we go. I pulled out this because I liked it. I don't know where I'm going, but I'll let you know when I get there. This is a piece of a McClendon printable. This is a jelly print and while I was doing this this morning I found my glue for my nasty bottle everything I've got is nasty And we've got some new stuff. Let me think where I put it. I didn't see it just now. I where I put it. We've got these pictures I used last week, and we have good ephemera from Tim Holtz. Um, he's been having a great series. On products and he's using like an hour or two and here's some scraps of tie stuff echo stuff let me get this out too this is my bag full of um, mail art stamps and stuff and there's a couple of pieces in here that are stick-ons that are perfect perfect for these got some stamps don't you wish you could flip through this I dream so much of having an organized studio. Okay, it looks like that's, it will take me a while to remember what all I had. You know, things I ordered from AliExpress and, you know, yeah, no. Okay. 
<laughs> and well, you can watch them. I like them just as good on replay. And then when the <clears throat> I don't know what's in here. When you get commercials, you can fast forward. Just some little round type stamps, stickers. Anyway, I watched um, I watched one on this on sprays, distress sprays with regular distress missing distress sprays and distress oxide and how ways that you can use them together. It was really slick. Use the way. I'm just going to pick this little red stamp right here. I think those are, no, no, no. Those you have to cut. My friend Lynn Wessel sent me, um, a package of some of her scraps. <laughs> It'd be fun to. There, that's all I need for that. And I'm going to go ahead and use the art glitter glue. And I'm going to deconstruct this like that. So that this will fit right here. And I could use. That's a real light paper. My uhu stick. Okay. Now the next thing was this. I'm going to use this. Hope it works. I've been, oh, hi there. Look at that glue coming out. <laughs> you are intellectual. I put that down next. It's a heavier paper. Don't forget to check the back because you may end up liking the back better. I just try to overlap them so you can see each one. No design or anything, just. And I do hope that you guys play with the field notes. All you need is some kind of a book. Ah, it is a sticker. And that means it's going to need more glue. There you go. Ta-da. Ooh, that's going to make a good round one. Is that a stamp? <laughs> it is. But I don't need it as a stamp if I use that for my base. I just had to know. Um, this is rubber stamp on tissue paper or the white layers of a napkin. Just have them in your junk drawer. They're perfect for stuff like this. And use a water pen. 
to get the part you want. It's a way to use all those stamps we've collected or been gifted or And the water pen is miracle. You can control the tear. already a little box I don't need that that needs to be in a different oh well don't worry about that now here's a piece of security envelope I like to see some of the background. Since we have it, let's use a Hershey's paper wrapper. I'm not a big sweet eater, so I might eat one and be done. Um. <clears throat> But Dove bars are fabulous because they've got, if you open them real easy, because they're, they're fragile, open them real easy, then you can, there's a saying on the inside. I'll save some of those too. Okay, reacquainting myself with junk. That's a piece of, looks like washi. These are neat. These little pieces come in grease pencils, you know, where it's got the string and you, when you get low, you just rip the string down and rip paper off. That could go right there. Okay, let's see where we're going with that. Slide those off, put that on. And then I had this. Just put them on wonky. I finally got this little bitty nozzle working again. And I finally just took the the tip, the metal tip of it. And just let it soak in a jar full of water. For a day or two. And all of that stuff turned. See I was going to put that under. But it's got to go way under. Because if you leave something like that over the top. It's just going to tear off. And it will tear. There, we just got the flower. That is plenty. I saved these little pieces because the color. Now, Dr. Victoria is a botanist with PhD lived in the 1800s and these field note journals were really all she had put that in there um, to record her journeys mm, here's a piece of her mosquito netting I don't know why she saved that but
Nice. So this is intuitive poppering. And mass means that we're doing a bunch of them at once. Mass making came from originally from um, Shabby Dabby Duda. So I thank her. This would be another good one for base. You know what that is? That's off my Fomento printer. <laughs> Took a little picture of something that... Just for this reason. I love my little printer. This is on the white label. I've got some translucent labels and some clear ones. Stuff sticks. There. Popper number two. Come on, get off. It's still on me. I'm going to use this for the base for this stamp. This is um, this is from one of my paintings, and I just got part of it and reduced it down to fit and then I'm going to take some I said I was going to use some of these inks today love these. These are the Stays On Middies. I'm just going to do the edge. These are torn edges so that color will leach into the torn area. use a little one. Now let's see here's some coffee. I'm hiding the white edge. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it back that way. Bone folder.
just kind of a little doggy. I need to take a little pill. I've got, or I hate taking a pill. And I've gotten to the point that I think about taking them and then my throat clenches. So now I'm down to taking them one at a time. A piece of this. Dotted lines, how easy. Um, this is stamped on washi tape or paper tape. I thought it was sticky. Well, doesn't matter. I'm just going to tear off a little piece of that for there. Wanted something red. Okay, that's enough. I really want that to slide just a little more. Yeah. Now then, this one, I put um, some white paper down. Because the glass mat was reflective, got too many reflections. See how easy these are? I turned that one that way a little bit, turned that one that way a little bit, and I pay attention to where my... Now, when you get ready to put these in, you can you can keep adding to them. I did, on some early ones, put some brads, your know, decorative brads. Got that all wet. All right, that's okay. There's number three. <laughs> did y'all get a good look at that? Which way does it go? Goes that way. I covered up part of the horizon. And then this is the the other one. And this is the first one. Now these are just perfect in little journals. This appears to be a piece of jelly print. With some green. Green. Use that up. piece. This is some of the decorative papers you could buy at Hobby Lobby. And they um, 
their natural fiber, they are bare to tear. Oh, look how pretty that is. Maybe you want it this way. Yeah, because now it's on the front. Oh, you're so clever. And then that can go under. I think this one's crying out for another stamp. <laughs> Let's go with purple because that kind of matches the the background. I've journaled enough to know that it's not any fun to get to a certain place and not have um, just something little that you can put. This is another piece of Robin's. Let's take a little piece of this yellow. At this rate, I'm going to have... Yeah, that's good. All right, so that goes on first. I'm going to have this box of scraps forever. And now this one. Again, be very gentle. And then this one. And then this one. I'm pulling the back off those so they won't be quite so thick. Paisa Pakistan. Now, I could keep going and going. Okay, I think I will corner chop this. I am corner chop challenged. Okay, now there's got to be a way. Smart to do this before. Yeah, that helps. Purple, purple. And you could even put these on as tag decorations you sometimes don't just feel like being creative or getting it all out there you go are y'all talking Anybody out there who is too shy to say anything, um, just say hi in the comments. Promise we won't bother you or embarrass you. But um, YouTube likes um, participation. And I'm working on my YouTube channel. Ooh. Oh, that looked like twall. That's, that's good. I 
need it that big. I need something for a base. Here's another one of those funky pieces. Look how quickly I learn. Look how quickly I learn. <laughs> I'm challenged, I tell you. Hello, come to home. That's what Patty Tolly Perry says. Probably going to do that one on the top. And here's some just grunge. So if I put that down first, then that. Then what else do we have? This is an inkjet print of some Japanese. Whoa. <laughs> That's what they called um, uh, It was patchwork clothing And when there was no fabric Getting to some of the remote islands of Japan So they would just take anything They could get their hands on To repair the peasants clothing Or the field workers or whatnot. And these turned out to be absolutely gorgeous. Well, that's kind of cool. Works of art in museums now. And they would just be denim on top of denim. Um, with, you know, embroidery stitching to fancy it up and... I'm using the scrap of my scraps. Get rid of that. I must have forgotten to put glue under that. If y'all like what you see, please subscribe, like it, and push the notifications bell. So that you'll get notifications when I go live. Here's another piece of bottle. Just long stitches. And these were quilted a lot of, most of the time. Scrap scrapbook paper will make a good base. And I bet if I distress it, I think I lost my orange stays on. Let's do the green. Don't be afraid of colors. And this is what it's all about, is to practice this sort of thing. So that if you're ever doing something bigger that's more important, then you'll remember, oh, I used green on that teal. Looked good. As long as you don't start ooing and cooing over your, yeah, 
Oh, that's a piece of glue. I'll put that right back on there. Let's use another piece of this. I got this little piece of nothing from Rosemary Morris. We're so excited. Everybody's been vaccinated. And so we're going to be able to start going to her studio again. Ooh, look how pretty that is. It's been over a year. Of course, I'm going to have trouble because my car is still messed up. Baby B. Let's put some blue on that one. And she only has 60,000 miles and she's 20 years old. And because during COVID, I didn't drive it, her, she blew apart in the motor that wasn't lubricated just right. And $5,000 later, I'll have a car that's just like new. There's only one problem with that. <laughs> I don't have $5,000. And that just sucks. Those are too big. This will work. This is the car we bought. Right after Sarah died, because I just, I couldn't drive the big BMW. And we I've driven BMWs so much that I can't drive anything else because I'm the way it steers and brakes and everything is something I'm used to. So anyway, I, we had the big 740 family car type thing. I just couldn't get in it, could not get in it because her music book and her brush was in the back seat with her hair in it, and I just couldn't do it. So we got a good deal on a 330 CI, so you know, it can seat four if you're tight in the back. Silver with a navy blue top convertible. And it breaks my heart that she broke. I'm not sure she's worth a whole lot more than what it costs to repair. But to buy something else with somebody else's problems doesn't appeal to me either. At least we know what's wrong with her. Oh, and she's an M-series, which makes her have a sleek Front tires are different than the back tires, as if that matters. But it helped me heal. I'm, if I was feeling pretty spunky, I'd drive with the top down. and I had bright red hair, faking it, you know, fake it till you make it. Come on. If I felt like hiding, I just didn't put the top down. And that I pulled, and I haven't got everything ready yet. Okay, so let's do this. Damn COVID. Now I had a piece of this. Main part I like is the fleur de lis. It's 
So I can put that on like that. Put this on like that. Now. And I wouldn't be sitting here with you guys if it wasn't that little instance because I was advised to take up painting to keep from going crazy. Here's a piece of cork. Little thin cork. It was in a little pad from Walmart. I think it was on the sale rack. That's nice. That's not. Anyway, um, I started painting and then I started loving it because I could escape. My brain would shut down. <clears throat> the better I got at painting and learning what the materials are supposed to do, the more I could disappear. And that's why I call it the Zen Zone. <laughs> And when your brain is shut down, your soul can rest. So I don't care what your challenge is. Well, I kind of wanted red. These are all so long. Seek and you shall find. Well, there's some stick-on letters from somewhere. More bottle. It's too big. Too big. Do, 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 do. Ah. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that. This must have been part of a... Look. Now, would you just look at that? That's a little scrap from something. I think I'm going to use the red side. Let's see what I got here. I don't know where these came from. I use an N. My maiden name was Neil, so that works. I don't need the E. So if we put that kind of right there, let me put this back. See what y'all are talking about. Sometimes if you just turn your box around, something will pop into view. Look at that. That is a swirl of paint on a stamp. And the back side is what I want. So... I'm after the paint, not the stencil. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, there's another damn letter. <laughs> the letters are falling. There you go. Something like that. This can be relaxing. That's not supposed to be in that bucket. That's a finished something or other. File folder. Right 
there. What are you looking for now? Nope, you don't need any more craft color. Puppies must be outside. Pink card. So if we put in down here, we can tuck pink card in there. There you go. You made a mess. Know that. And I like to leave edges, as you can tell. And then when you go to put them on your... In your journal page or something like that, you can either type them down or not. Watch your ankles now. You don't want you don't want things going parallel. You want them to go and since I didn't put that exactly where I had it, we'll put it right there. Another pumper. Hold on. I'm going to put a little more glue under here. Four thirty. Let's make one more and then go do some tags. How about? Our little Minnie got sick again last week. Ah, scare us to death. She's the one that has the immune disorder. She had a completely infected uterus. So she was not doing well at all. I mean, near death. Randy carried her in and they did surgery that afternoon. They removed it all so there won't be any puppies. But we got her. Animals, pets bring so much pleasure. They're almost as expensive as having a, a human kid. So in uh, an hour, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. Good, a good afternoon's work.
here's uh it's Japanese artwork in their fabrics. Ink jets, so make sure you check the One side might be brighter than the other. This is just a scrap off of something. Up, 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 don't lose it. Don't lose it. All right. See, just anything. I just chose that because it was a pop of color. I've got a lot of things I need to put links for. A little bit open time, so if you need to twist a little bit, you can twist and shake if you can't. Whoops, that did a lot of good. Now the end, a little pop, pop, pop. Now the another, another one. One. Let's look. Not get a picture. You want a screenshot? Now's the time to do it. Let me get my telephony. Come here, little bucket. There, I got that. Um, now go back to YouTube. And these are still kind of damp, so what I'm going to do is put them under this lid. So they can dry, but they won't be in the way. See? Okay, okay. Now let's do a few tags. I'm just doing this till I reorganized. I'll probably need some of that. I think I'm being. Mm 
And when it gets down to this size, throw them away. Okay, so now we're going to use some tags. Tell you what, let's do this kind of assembly line. How about? And one more pill to take. Look at this little neat tag. And I want to put some tape over that. Well, that wasn't very good. Get this little dorky up higher. Now put it on. Keep from getting, yeah, I know I'm getting awful ticky. Okay. I don't want the little cords to get all gunky and that one doesn't have one neither does that okay put that up put that up for now for now ah I've got my trash bag one handle hooked to a rung under my table. All right. Here's a, I bet that. Oh, yeah. I've rehydrated some of these. Don't save your art supplies. Why do I have ink in this bucket? I'll tell you what, today. I need to leave them right there and I'll aerate them. So I'm going to get some I'll be right there. I got these and I'm using them if I have to make mud with them right here I got these when they were only sold in the big jars Waverly they're chalk paints and I found out that they made a great silver point ground I'm using them. All I need is a palette knife. And that's paper. Yeah. 
and spray it. Uh, not that you'll be here all day. So I need to have a paint use up there. And I've got some press and seal now, so I need to close these up with press and seal. For this type of painting, water pretty much won't hurt. But for good paint, I love the way I always get my lids messed up. Okay, no. Nope. All right, we're going to put that right there. And we're going to see what celery looks like. Don't want to crack a molar. There it goes. Woo! Nope. Let me see if Mr. Mr. Man can get it. Are you in the house? No. Would you come here, please? Let's see it. I need to let off this paint. Damn, we just got some paint. <sighs> Baby situated. Okay. Lid off this paint. Stay, baby. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. Mama got it. I thought I almost got it. But well, almost doesn't count. No, it's almost, like almost doesn't get me to it. No, <laughs> almost pregnant, didn't you? <laughs> God, dog. I know. Thank you. All right. Muscle man. Okay. Put that up there. Now then. See what y'all are doing. Oh, there's a popper I didn't put away. Just going to use some water and the palette knife. Oops. Yeah, I think that one. I love the marks that a palette knife make, makes. It's a beautiful color. And these are tags, so I'm going to be a little bit sloppy. They make these in a small one-ounce bottle now. Little celery. No, you can't turn it over yet.
Okay, I'm gonna go. That way, this way, no, that way. Ah. Okay, now yeah, look how subtle and pretty those two colors are together. That one's not quite dry. And here we've got three colors the blue and the green and the, the light mud. And maybe that was. There, just a little bit more. Okay, now then, we're going to turn them over. We're going to do the same thing. Oh, in the video I was watching last night with Tim. He was using some of his texture paste. I learned a lot. I always learn a lot from him. And I know everybody says, oh, it's always Timmy. It's always Timmy. Well, you know what? If you can get that good, you deserve to be watched. These are all about half used. So I get paint on the cord anyway. So this is part of my 2021 use up stuff that's going bad sitting on your shelf. I'm going to be real tickled to have these neutral tags. When Field Notes gets to going good. I think I've told you this before, but I'm going to tell you again. Make sure you like and subscribe so you'll know when I come on. On Sundays... Is that right? Sundays and Mondays, I forgot what I decided. 
I'll be posting a video of me painting a piece of art that relates to field notes. On Tuesdays in our live session, I will be doing a page in my field notes book live. And then if I can get caught up on this project enough, I'll start doing more videos just general. Okay. Let's see if we can... And then I need a couple of pencils. That one just jumped up. I'm right here. I'm just flipping through a folder with stencils in it. Here's a good one. Did anybody say anything? Go fly a kite. Yeah, there you go. See, that's all the world I did. I didn't want to cover everything. This one looks good. That one's still got a visible wet spot. Now then, I want to put a couple of stencils, I mean stamps, and that's going to go south on me. show you a couple of poppers that the never-ending journal process
they blend in so well you don't hardly know you've got them in there. Here's one. Oh, I didn't have it up. This one. Here's a small one. Those are just stamps. Here's one. See why I call them poppers? Here's one. Oh, that's a tag. Never mind. Here's one. With a charm on it. They really create more trouble than they solve. Here's one. Here's one. Kind of blend in. So there you have it. That's how that rolls. I've been collecting Timmy stamps because they're such good quality. They're easy to store. Now then, I need a pink pad or two. Here's some de-stress oxide. There's just a couple of colors. This is called Renaissance. And you can use your imagination and see that on Dr. Victoria's tour getting to the rainforest that she would use she would visit things that look like this in on her journey because she doesn't go just straight there this may not be a good color for that no the pumice is not the right color Good. Blue is. Just barely see it. Oops. Oopsie. Get that paint off of there. Okay. Use another part of the same stamp. I love how you can just turn these and Use them any way you want. Got a little more paint. 
in a perfect world. I could have my apprentice just come along and clean this up for me. So what does she do? Goes ahead and does it anyway. <coughs> Doesn't have to be much. <coughs> We've got some stamp. Yeah, then I know this is a good overall pattern. It's one I made. This is um, kids' art supplies. It's real thin styrofoam. You can use a tray from the meat market. These are real cheap, like seven, eight dollars or so, or I don't know what it was. I'll <laughs> I'll put the link down there. Okay. I think I need to get another color. I'm gonna try the green bundled sage. It might be good enough. No, it's not strong enough. Okay. Hmm. Dang, that's heavy. So let's go with fire brick. Go with pistachio. Pistachio. And scattered straw. This kind of a uh, stencil or pattern or whatever you want to call it really works better if you put it on like a silk screen put the paper on top yeah you can see a little bit but not much well all right goose Try one year of the colors. Goose, goose. I'm a goose. Patience, my dear. Got a little. All right, that's not worth messing with. Look at this stencil. Oh, it's faces. Well, I don't have to use them as faces. Let's use some of this. Do I have tools to put this on with? Mm hmm Little. Dog on it.
you have to be careful with these real tight ones because you sure don't want to bend your stencil. Hmm. We didn't do that side. We could. We surely could. little bit. So all we need is a little bit. Spoonful of honey makes the medicine go down. Good thing it's not trying to look like anything. All right, what else have we got up here? You can have another stencil girl. Cosmetic sponge works good too. Y'all got quiet. That doesn't show up very good either. It's okay. It is all okay. Now, fire brick. Fire brick. You know, I've learned the more I use these distress colors, the more I appreciate, even though it's a bright color, they're still subdued. I mean, that's just not in your face color. Okay, let's put a little bit. Right here.
Okay. Spray that. I don't want to waste anything. So spray your stencil with water and then lay it down. And this paper underneath will make great pages and journals or whatnot. Okay. How are we doing? We're doing good. I'm not sure I've ever used fire brick. Okay, let's give these all a quick dry. Put that in the water. This one right here can have some spray. Let's see which side it's on. Now that should have lifted off. It didn't. All right, lesson learned. I'm going to have to finish these. I think what I'm going to do, let's do some more stamping, and then we'll call it quits for today. And I'm going to use fire brick. Not supposed to be able to read them.
now then. Put this mammer jammer up. Now, here's what we've got so far. Could they be done? Yeah. Are they going to be done? Not yet. I might come back in with a pop-up. I say that a lot, but see, they're taking shape. And now what I'm going to do, Use up this empty paint. Empty. Can't see it, so don't waste your energy on that. Piece of paper. Okay, got some. And I'll put this down. <laughs> Not much. Okay, I got it off of there, so that's that's what I was trying to do. It's not my usual colors, but it looks good. Look at my junk sheet. Looks good. Okay, guys. I'm going to knock off here. I appreciate everybody that came to visit. Always, Nancy and Joycey, y'all make me feel good. So feel free to share the video whenever you see it. And I will... Off my computer. Let's see if I can do this right this week. Come on, come on, come on. And that is all. Bye bye.